just don't understand why I'm so sad when I'm so young and this great thing is happening for me. When did we start letting boys dictate our happiness? I was nine. I feel a little... Four years ago it all seemed so clear, didn't it? A little bit like I failed. All those years growing up, I just wanted her to see me. Conquer the world, save the world, and live happily ever after. You know what my mother said to me when I told her I wanted to start a company? I'm watching all my friends move on with their lives. They're all moving forward. Are you happy, Brooke? She said your chances are one in a million. See me and appreciate me and maybe love me. Sometimes. And I said, maybe I'm that one. And it's like, I'm stuck here, standing still. And she said, you're not. Because in the end, it all hurts just the same. I wanted you to fight for me. You took my life and you turned it into me. And I'm tired of feeling bad. Okay, I'd rather feel nothing. It's better, it's easier. I know moving on's a good thing. I guess I'm just scared, you know? Girls just want something they want bad. At least I do. I can't be the girl who's with the guy who's in love with someone else. How could you cheat on me with my best friend? think maybe it just got to be too much for her. Why won't you ever just let me all the way in? Maybe she just got scared of needing something too much. Why does everybody lie? I don't know what hurts for you. and Lucas sneaking around behind my back or you lying about it to my face. Bad guys lie to get in your bed. But you know what? I've been lied to before, Felix, and it almost killed me. Good guys lie to get in your heart. You told her the truth and you lied to me. And I'm the idiot that falls for it every time. You're acting like a child. How would you know you weren't around when I was a child? Not like Lucas. No, you're not. You know why? Because I am not going to let you in. You don't get to have me. Not my body and sure as hell not my heart. I am not pushing you away, Lucas. I am holding on for dear life, but I need you to need me back. Sucks always being the footnote in someone else's story. I think you do love me. Or you could love me. But you're just too stubborn and scared to admit it because the last time you really gave your heart to someone, it got broken. She's been very protective of her heart for a long time. That's what I'm afraid of. Not being enough. Not good enough. Not smart enough. Not pretty enough. Well, you did a great job, okay? We all thought so. Not good enough. I think I could probably set myself on fire and my mom wouldn't notice, so. Brooks had her share of ups and downs. My parents don't see me, and when they do see me, it's only because they're angry about something. But most of you never saw it. You know, at the end of the day, you are who you are, and it's probably who you've always been. Because even when life got hard... They never really gave us a chance, did they? Brooke never let it in. Her parents. She was just... Brooke. The boy I love protected the girl I love. Tough. That's the girl that he loves, too. Smart. I guess I just figured it would work. One of a kind. I'm very much that. A daughter is not supposed to have to earn her mother's help or her love. It is supposed to be unconditional. Today was the last time you would ever call me stupid. All my life you have avoided being a mother to me. Do not think for one moment that you get to start now. You want high school, Brooke? I have news for you. I am not that girl anymore. There is a lot more to than just this. Don't you dare twist my words around and make yourself feel like you are not a backstabbing, two-faced bitch paper, because you are. I was afraid of getting my heart broken again. Like before. Because you hurt me so bad. I'm, I was afraid to be vulnerable. She was wrong. But I was clearly wrong about it. Most people are. She was fiercely independent for Davis. I stopped letting boys define me, and I started believing in myself and in my potential. And I ran for student council president, and I designed a clothing line. And somewhere along the way, the loss of 
little party girl became the girl on the wall of honor. Brilliant. There's a day when you realize that you're not just a survivor. You're a warrior. And beautiful. We all can lose a little hope sometimes, you know? That feeling that everything is gonna be okay. And brave. Things are really special that makes it that much harder to let go. I am who I am. In two years, she'd grown more than anyone I had ever known. No excuses. You come further than anyone I know. Because I am one in a million. Brooke Davis is going to change the world someday. And I'm not sure she even knows it.